Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onya de Guzman and our topic for today is problem solving involving trapezoids and kites for grade 9, quarter 2. So in a plane geometry, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral figure with two parallel sides or bases with an equal length. So the perpendicular distance between the bases is known as the altitude. So the sides that are not parallel are called legs, and a line from the midpoint of one leg to the midpoint of the other is called the median. So, also, a kite is defined as quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent and congruent sides. So let's consider the problem number one. MILK is a trapezoid with median at B. If MI is equal to 12 centimeters and KL is equal to 22 centimeters, find at B. So let's illustrate the given. So this is the trapezoid MILK such that MI is equal to 12 and KL is equal to 22. We want to find out the length at B. So take note that the length FB is equal to 1 half of MI plus KL. So substitute the given value. So we have 1 half of 12 plus 22. So we come up with 1 half of okay, 34. So FB is equal to 17 centimeters. Let's move on to the next problem. One lateral face of the roof of the building is trapezoid in shape. One of the bases of this trapezoid is 8 meters longer than the other. Find the length of the two bases if the median measures 21 meters. So again, for our representation, we will let x as the length of the shorter base. So that is our representation. Okay, so this is one of the bases is 8 meters longer than the other base. So here, so we will represent this one as actually x plus 8. So this is the length of the longer base. So by our representation, so okay, the shorter base is equal to x while the longer base is equal to x plus 8 while the median is equal to 21. So take note that fb is equal to 1 half okay, times x plus x plus 8. So we will come up with 21. We simply substitute the value of fb is equal to 21 is equal to 1 half, then add together x plus x is equal to 2x plus 8. Then multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So if I multiply both sides of the equation by 2, I can factor out the 2 here. Now, so I have simply 21 times 2 is equal to 2x plus 8. So 21 times 2 is equal to 42 is equal to 2x plus 8. Then subtract both sides of the equation by 8. So I come up with 42 minus 8 is equal to 2x. Or this is equal to 34 is equal to 2x. However, I want to find out the value of x. So that's why I'll divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to 17 meters. Okay, so this is the length of the shorter base. However, if I want to find out the length of the longer base, so that is 17 plus 8 is equal to 25 meters. So this is the length of the longer base. So therefore, the lengths are 17 meters and 25 meters. Let's have another example. So a tabletop is an isosceles trapezoid in shape. The median is 7.5 decimeters and one of its legs measures 8 decimeters. If one of the tabletop pieces is 3 decimeters more than the other, find its perimeter. So again, to represent the problem, so we will let x is equal to the length of the shorter base. So while x okay, plus 3 is equal to the length of the longer base. So... To illustrate this, so we have here the base is upper base or the shorter base is equal to x while the longer base is equal to x plus 3. Okay, 
So the median is equal to 7.5. So let's start from that one. So our median IG is equal to 1 half of X plus X plus 3. So solving it further, okay, and simply substitute the value of IG is equal to 7.5. So I have 7.5 is equal to 1 half times 2x plus 3. So therefore, I can have here, uh, simply multiply both sides of the equation by, okay, 2. So if I multiply both sides of the equation by 2, I can simply factor out 2 here. So it will result to 7.5 times 2 is equal to 2x plus 3. Simplifying it further, so I have here 7.5 times 2 is equal to 15 is equal to 2x plus 3. Subtract both sides of the equation by 3. So we have here 12 is equal to 2x. Then divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we have here, okay, x is equal to 6 decimeter. So take note from our representation, this is the length of the shorter base. Next. We have x plus 9, so that is 6 plus, uh, x plus 3, so that is, okay, 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 decimeter. So this is our length of longer base. Now that we know already the longer base and the shorter base, the next step is we want to find out the perimeter. Take note that the perimeter is the sum of all sides. So let's look back on our illustration. So we found out that x is equal to 6 here. So the base or the longer base is equal to x plus 3, which is equal to 9. Now to find out the perimeter, I'll simply add all the sides. It means I have here 8 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9, or the perimeter is equal to 31. So therefore, we can say that the perimeter is 31 decimeters. Okay, on problem number four, so let's move on to kite. So Greg created a kite. The area is 60 square inches and one of its diagonal is two inches more than the other diagonal. Find the length of the two diagonals. So again, we will rep represent that x is equal to the length of the shorter diagonal. Then we have x plus two is equal to the length of longer diagonal. From our illustration, so this is our illustration, chi k m j s. So take note that the area is equal to diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Since the area according to the problem, okay, so let's uh, look into that one. So the area is equal to 60, okay, square inches. You simply substitute that one. So while our diagonal 1 is equal to x and our diagonal 2 is equal to x plus 2. Simplifying it further, so I have here multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So factor out 2 and 2. So I come up with 60 times 2 is equal to distribute x times x is equal to x squared. x times 2 is equal to 2x. So, we have 120 is equal to x squared plus 2x. Then, okay, let the other side is equal to 0. So, meaning to say if I subtract both sides of the equation by 120, so come up with 0 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 10. So, this is actually factoring trinomial, quadratic trinomial. So we will look for the factors of 120 such that the middle term is equal to, okay, positive 2. So the factors are actually 12, positive 12, and negative 10. Okay, so therefore, so here are the factors. So we have 0 is equal to x plus 12 times x minus 10. So if I'll take, okay, x plus 12 is equal to 0, using the zero property, so x is equal to negative 12. However, this value is actually, or this solution is what you call extraneous solution because there is no negative length. So we will cross it out. Okay. On the other hand, if I have x minus 10 is equal to zero, so therefore x is equal to 10. 
from our representation, x is equal to the length of the shorter diagonal. Next, if I have x plus 2, so that is equal to 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. So this is the length of the longer diagonal. So therefore, the lengths of the di diagonals are 10 inches and 12 inches. Alright, so let's move on to problem number 5. So the perimeter of a kite is 70 centimeters. The length of one of its sides is equal to 11 centimeters more than the half of the length of another. Find the length of each side of the kite. So again, to represent the unknown, so we will let x is equal to the length of one side of a kite. Then, okay, to represent the other, so we will use here the description. So according to the problem, half the length of another. So that is why we have one half of x. Then that is 11 more than. So that is why we have plus 11. So again, so that is one half x plus 11. So this is the length of the other side of a kite. So if we have this illustration, if this is x, so the other side is also x. Okay? Based on our representation, the side is actually one half x plus 11. So naturally, this side is also the same as one half x plus 11. So take note, if we want to find out the perimeter, so this is equal to, okay, the sum of all sides. Or we simply add all sides. So I have here x plus x plus 1 half x plus 11 plus 1 half x plus 11. But take note that according to the problem, the perimeter is equal to 70. Okay, then I have 2 times x plus 2 times 1 half x plus 11. Simplifying it further. So I have here 70 is equal to 2x. Distribute the 2. So I have 2 times 1 half x is equal to x, while 2 times 11 is equal to 22. Then I have here plus, okay, 2x plus x will give us 3x. Then subtract both sides of the equation by 22. So I have 70 minus 22 is equal to 3x. So I have 48 is equal to 3x. However, I want to find out the value of x. So divide both sides of the equation by 3. So x is equal to 16. So this is the length of one side of a kite. While 1 half x plus 11. So this is 1 half of 16 plus 11 is equal to 19. So this is the length of one side of a kite. So therefore, the length of the size of the kites are 16 and 19 centimeters. So, okay, so that ends our problem or that's end our topic on problem solving involving trapezoids and kites. So again, this is Teacher on Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.